Finally at 7, if a clear view of the night sky is the most important thing for stargazing, the second most important is knowing where to look. Meteorologist John Hickey shows us how to use the moon as your guide in this week's Skywatch 16. Sometimes for novice sky watchers, it can be difficult to know where to look in our night sky to find some of the things that we're talking about. But this week, you have an easy guide, our waxing gibbous moon. Now this all starts tonight on June 27th. Look for our waxing gibbous moon near the star Spica. Spica is the brightest star in the constellation Virgo. And in the upcoming nights, the moon has even more company. You'll see our waxing gibbous moon on the 29th and the 30th getting closer on the southeastern horizon horizon into the constellation Scorpius and not only that it'll be getting close to Antares the red super giant star within the constellation Scorpius. This is all leading up to our full moon in the month of July. On July 3rd a Monday we have the full buck moon. It's officially full at around 7:30 in the morning so it'll appear full both the night before and on the night of July 3rd. It gets its name because this is the time of year that the buck's antlers are in what's called rapid growth mode. It's also known as the thunder moon according to some other Native American Indian tribes because of all the thunderstorms this time of year. This is going to be one of four supermoons here in 2023 and the second largest supermoon only to the blue moon that's coming up in August. So look up for the moon this week. It's got company and easy things to find all thanks to that very bright moon. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.